I'm on a boat. He's got pedals. Yeehaw! Hey, what's up? I am out at Lake Comanche. I am in the pedal drive. I got a superstar late and you can see those storm clouds. <laughs> uh, I came here because it was the closest lake that was to my home that was big, that was deep. And being that I don't have a fish finder on this thing yet, I didn't want to run into ground. So thought I might come here, gonna go fish these points. So far, so good in the Pedal Drive Wilderness Systems Radar 135. Definitely not used to doing this. It's a little bit of a workout right now. <laughs> we had a massive temperature drop last night, so they could be not biting. This is the same point that I caught those other two fish the first time that I was here this year. But like I said, I came out in this to this particular lake because uh, I don't have sonar on this yet. It probably won't be here until next Monday. Um, and then I didn't want to run aground and just ruin the drive the first day that I had it. <laughs> is it something that I would do? a good test for it in this wind. Here comes the rain. Definitely still need to dial this boat in. Uh, when I kicked my legs over the side it was different because there are these straps that hold up the seat so don't have that on the lure, right? But so far, man, pedal's really nice. I think I made the mistake right when I got in to pedal really hard. And now that I've kind of got like a little bit of a rhythm going, it feels better. Might need to move the seat up a little bit closer. Uh, next time I come out, what I'll do is I'll bring a paint pen. And I don't know if you can see that, but I marked the paint pen on where the rudder will go directly up where the positioning of the pedals need to be um, just to kind of make things easier and what I'll do is on the sides of the seats here I'll put a little bit of paint pen to where it feels right so every time I take the seat in and out I'm not guessing and readjusting once I get into the boat but winds blowing in my back I'm pedaling very very slowly it's definitely uh, keeping me in position I think one thing too that I'll probably look into getting, these boots are close to a pound and a half each. So that adds like a lot of extra weight. I might get a pair of like NRS, uh, I think they're called the destroyers or something like that. They're not the boots. I don't like the boots. Uh, they're like more like high top sneakers. I want to say they're destroyers. They're called destroyers or something. Anyway. That'll make pedaling a little bit easier as well. Maybe some new pedals too. You can see how rough it is right there. So I'm kind of being guarded by the wind. No rain so far, but I can see it falling over there. One of the things I did almost immediately is I raised, you can raise the steering on this, this little plastic piece right here. So that's the first thing, that's one of the first things I did because I knew that I was gonna be sitting in the high position 95% of the time. And uh, I just didn't wanna feel like I was bending down to get the steering and I, I adjusted it to, got lucky, the perfect height. Uh, the gear tracks on here are fantastic. I love these little pockets right here for baits and whatever. I'm gonna work on some other storage units. I've got an X-Grip right there. Uh, it's actually catching my pant leg, 
when I pedal. So, uh, and like I said, you know, like this boat so far, I mean, it's only been an hour. Has it fallen apart yet? All right, well, I think I'm gonna go over there and then call it a day uh, simply for the fact that, you know, I didn't start fishing until an hour and a half ago. Weather's not fantastic. And lastly, I do want to stop off and get something at Headwaters and see if they have it because I think it would help greatly with this kayak uh, when tying it to the roof. I want to get some um, the Yak Tack tie downs, put them right here or right here. So when I tie it onto the roof of the car, I can basically uh, secure it a little bit better. So the lure had handles, you could loop the webbing and the nylon through so it wouldn't move back and forth on your car and you do the hood tie down and you'd be fine. Uh, this doesn't have it so it's kind of like pressure, it relies on the pressure. I don't like that, I feel like it's too strenuous on the boat. So. I think those tie downs will come in really good. Boat's handling well, feels super stable, but just rather be safe than sorry. Changing plans. I'm actually gonna go in because these are very big swells, believe it or not. And so, I'm out here by myself, nobody else is on the lake, and nobody really knows where I am, so I'm just going to play it safe, go in, and uh, call it a day. Good first test run of the kayak though. Whew. That rudder is hard to get up and down, but it does cut, so. Yeah, so got her wet. Um, she handled probably the same way that probably every pedal kayak handles. When you first get into it, you gotta get used to it. Um, the pedaling felt great. Now, a lot of you may or may not know this, but I've had major like hip problems, like major arthritis hip problems. Uh, in my left hip and this actually felt really good so i'm kind of really relieved about that one so um fish finder should be here hopefully on friday most likely next monday it's monday now so it's going to take a little while to get here i ordered a ton of stuff for this boat wilderness makes a ton of cool add-ons uh but all in all solid thank you for watching